Hello, this is Test Pilot Monkey, and I've got a new game to LP. Well, I say new, but it was released for the PlayStation. Baron Aloha, a black shadow threatening the safety of peaceful worlds. An evil scientist who frightens children and is bent on slavery. A giant robot has seized a peaceful world and carried it off. Aloha's evil plan is to turn it into a huge private retreat for himself. Universal City Hall, here to help the people. Robert can do the job. Let's go, Robert. Jump and go. Jumping Flash. Yes, welcome to Jumping Flash. An uh, amazing little game released for the PlayStation. And so let's get into it now. Okay, here we see our hero, Robert blasting off from Universal City Hall towards the first load of lumps which the robots have stolen from our planet. And this is stage one in World One and it's our nice simple starting grassland. So here we go, we have a view from Robert's eyes as he starts blasting things and uh, he can also jump on things as well and you can do a triple jump which is quite useful you can pick up things like this that one extends his time a bit and uh, here we see the jet pod which is the E jet pod there's four jet pods E, X, I and T and obviously they spell exit and if you collect them in order you only get some points bonus so I won't be really bothering with that and uh, yes, I'm trying to jump off the top of this building here and it's not really working, so we'll go to this blimp over here instead and see what we can do from here. Try the building again. Spire, can we jump off it? Yes, we can. And we get this other jet pod, and that was the X one, so we get them in roughly in order. And what's this over here? Well, it's a uh, bonus ring. Have a look at it here. Isn't that very nice and pretty and sparkly? Let's go in the bonus ring and see what happens now. Yes, yeah, the bonus stage, you have to pop a load of balloons. Now, uh, sometimes I manage this, sometimes I don't. It's uh, be a little game for you. Do I actually manage to complete the bonus stage or not? I seem to be going fairly well here. And you might notice when I'm uh, blowing things up, I pick up some fireworks, which you can see at the top left there. I've got a cherry bomb, I've got some rockets, I've got some twisters. And there's a few other fireworks that we can get. We've got a Roman candle now. And uh, we won't have to be seeing those really in the game itself because it's not very useful to uh, blow up all the other enemies. Uh, they're better on bosses. And here we've got a power pill. And we've got some excellent music. And the power pill is basically like Pac-Man's power pill. We can now touch enemies or balloons as it is here and they break immediately. And I've got one more balloon, there it is. And two seconds left on the clock. Managed to do it. So we start off from where the uh, the ring was. Now obviously it's not there because we've just done the bonus round. And Robert's kind of hopping over to the other side of the level now because he's just spotted a jet pod. And we can see at the top in the middle there our little uh, co-pilot thing. And uh, it's, you can see the little red dots at the bottom of that telling us how many jet pods we've left to collect. And now we've collected them all, it's time to go to the exit, so let's go there right now. There it is, they're all very nice and colourful. Stage clear. And yes, we got some bonus from somewhere. I'm not quite sure exactly where the extra bonus came from, probably from doing the bonus round and completing it properly. But that's all that they're getting the jet pods in order to get you. So there we go, we've freed up that clod of dirt which our Baron Aloha has stolen from the planet. And we go on to free this next one. And ooh, it's a lava land. And we've got a time stop which uh, I don't really need to tell you what happens with a time stop but you can see on the radar in the top right that it actually shows us some flashing orange boxes which show us the location of the jet pods and of the exit as well. Isn't that nice, a uh, frying pan with an egg in it. Obviously some giant decided he wanted to make his breakfast 
over that volcano. So, ooh, lots of jet pods to go for here. Right, we'll uh, take a shortcut here and, well, we failed our double, well, triple jump there. And uh, you can only hit the triple jumps uh, when you're on the way up. So if you start to go downwards, then you will carry on going down. One more jet pod, it's all the way up on the top there, but uh, Robert's equipped with some super bouncy legs and he can get all the way up to the top there. And there we are, now where's our exit? Uh, not over there. A very nice little landscape. <clears throat> Bit dangerous though. And uh, we just beat up some kind of butterfly thing. And watch out for the hot spring rabbit, Robert. <laughs> watch out for the spiny thing there as well. Fortunately, there's uh, quite a few clear platforms which you can land on. Uh, pick up another cherry bomb here. And we go to the exit. Now, the game has uh, two normal stages to start off with, and then we go on to a boss stage. So now Robert blasts off into the sky, and we get to see what the boss is. And these little things that are standing on there holding his hands up is called a Moo Moo. And I don't know if they're actually piloting the, uh, the boss or not, but what's the boss for the World 1? A huge dragon! Wow. Obviously, we can use our shots on him, and he can use his fire breath on us. We can also jump on top of him if we've got the chance, and we can also use our fireworks. This is the Roman candle, and it's uh, quite an effective laser thing. And these rockets, they just kind of home in and blast the dragon like that. And we're finding some trouble jumping up because the dragon's directly above us and uh, stopping us from doing so. Now we let off our cherry bomb, which is quite a lot more powerful than you might expect a cherry bomb to be. But still, we uh, destroy the dragon, he spins around and explodes, and we go and find our way onto one of these little mounds here to uh, claim our victory. And Robert blasts onto it in the sky and we get a little cinematic. after Robert jumps up into Universal City Hall again. Whoa, we got zapped by the Robert! <laughs> Forget it, dude! Sit down and relax! <laughs> there we go, and Robert's blasting off towards the next destination, which is some kind of pyramid land. Some analogue for Egypt. We'll see you next time.